This video shows how to install the development tools to use to RZT and RZNFSP for the first time in eSquare Studio. The versions of each tool used in this video are listed. We use RZT for the explanation, but the method is the same for RZN. This video consists of these steps. FSP is released in GitHub. It can be accessed via the URL in the overview section of this video. The latest version is shown at the top, and FSP can be downloaded from the link in the release notes. Going down you find links to tools and additional features, as well as links to third-party software, bug fix details, and known issues. Note the link in the FSP document. It is highly recommended that you download this document. The documentation contains a wealth of useful information showing how to use FSP, how to develop with it, and how to proceed. After this, there are information on earlier releases. Go back to the top and download the platform installer. This provides an executable file that installs eSquare Studio and FSP simultaneously. Start the installation process. You are asked if you want to upgrade the existing version. This time, we don't upgrade, but install in a new location. If you are installing eSquare Studio for the first time, this screen doesn't appear. Select Custom Install. Check the location where eSquare Studio is to be installed. You can change the location if necessary. When all are checked green, click Next. Extensions can be installed. Make your selections as needed. In this case, we proceed as is. The required fields are pre-checked. So proceed to the next step. Check the additional software. Make sure tool chain version is checked. Agree to the terms and conditions of the software agreement. Create a shortcut on the start menu. Click install when you are ready to perform the installation. The installation is complete. If necessary, you can read the release notes, new features, FSP manual, and start eSquare Studio. Click OK to finish the installation process. Create a new project. Start eSquare Studio. Select File Menu, New, C slash C plus plus Project. Select Product Series Renesis RZ. In this video, RZT is selected to create Project RZT 2M. Enter a project name. Select 110 as FSP version, RSK and RZT2M RAM execution without flash memory as board, 931 as tool chain, and JLink MARM as debugger. Click Next and select Library or Executable, both RTOS can be selected. The default is used here. The project template can be either minimal or blinky. Select Blinky. Click Finish to generate the project. When asked to open a perspective, select Open Perspective. The configurator will start. There are several tabs to configure clocks, pins, interrupts, and others. Since the Blinky project requires no additional configuration, click the Generate button in the upper right corner of the Project Settings window with the default settings to generate a board-specific file.
Right-click on the project name and select Build Project, or click the hammer icon to build. Then confirm in the console window that the build was successful. Before starting debugging, connect RSK board to your PC. Jumper settings should be made from the unpacked state, and SW4 should be changed. Right-click on the project name and select Debug as and Debug Configurations, or click the bug icon to check Debug Configuration. You don't need to make any changes here, but you can change the connection settings and tool settings. Click Debug to start the debugger. When asked to switch perspectives, select Switch. To change the instruction mode to ARM, rewrite the fifth bit of the CPSR register to zero. This rewriting process can be omitted by using eSquare Studio 2023-01 or later and selecting yes for initialize CPSR register after download setting of the property, debugger tab, debug tool settings. Click the resume icon to execute the code. Click it again after pausing at HAL underscore entry. Check that LED0 and LED1 on the board are blinking. Click the suspend icon to suspend debugging and the terminate icon to exit debugging.